morning everybody it's actually morning for once it's in fact like 7 a.m and i wanted to start a new video i actually got up very early i did my makeup and i was like you know what i have an idea of a video that i've been actually really meaning to film for quite a while which obviously you know what it is because the title's already here we're talking about my favorite jewelry pieces out of my whole jewelry collection things that i really wanted to show you guys many of you know that watches and jewelry together with handbags are probably the prime like the core of my favorite fashion can you call it fashion yes pieces for me in general jewelry watches and handbags are the sort of like cherry on the cake you add to any outfit and every outfit and they always somehow manage to give it that extra boost they always manage to you know polish it like put it together and it's a crucial part of styling like what kind of jewelry you put on i think can tell so much the amount of time that I met women that are wearing very basic clothes but their jewelry is speaking volumes about their personality and honestly like from top of my head I can think of those women that always had like different jewelry pieces that I always thought like oh they're so interesting a little bit mysterious there's so much to tell and their jewelry doesn't have to be necessarily like expensive or I don't know what but it's usually like very unique and special pieces though unfortunately I do tend to prefer expensive jewelry pieces because of my annoyingly annoying taste that every time I grab something I'm like oh of course it's the most expensive thing in the shop because yeah also let's face it girls love diamonds but hold on let's not limit that to the girls everybody loves diamonds and yeah we're gonna I'm sure I'm gonna prove that point to you in this video jokes aside I actually don't tend to keep all almost my jewelry at home you guys know that already by now I tend to keep them safely locked away and I rotate them and since now I am in an exact moment where I I want to kind of like put some things away and take some things out. I wanted to do this video because it's like basically perfect timing. Also perfect timing because you guys, I'm not actually wearing any jewelry. Hold on, look at this, very little jewelry. Besides my engagement ring, which I think it's honestly like the most beautiful thing that I look at every single day. I only have some earrings because I also don't tend to remove the earrings almost ever. To remove the earrings is just a little bit of a hustle. So I usually have my usual suspects. I think I'm gonna start with them and then I I'm gonna talk you through I think like 90% yeah there's so much from what I can see there's like at least more than 30 pieces that I want to show you I want to try them on it's going to be a lot so get yourself a coffee get like a pen and paper actually you don't have to because every single item that I mentioned I will also link in the description box below so you don't even need to write things down you can just go click check save to bookmarks or just shop immediately whichever you prefer you know who am I to judge I certainly won't be judging because yeah I I get you we're the same so let's get going i'll start with saying that in general when it comes to jewelry i do tend to gravitate towards specific brands i really love jewelry from cartier bon Cleef. You guys know I love Idil jewelry, I love Tiffany jewelry, Ole Lingard. I'm looking down because I'm looking at what I've got here. I love Misuma pieces, I have many. I love Chrome Hearts. There are like few pieces that I have and that I love. Also a few pieces that Filippo is currently wearing because we tend to exchange them or rotate them. There are like few pieces from Chomet that I'm really, really loving. And then when it comes to fashion jewelry, I would say that there's not that much, but like I would buy a very occasional piece from Chanel. I have the iconic Botte Gaventa earrings you know like there are very few pieces from fashion jewelry that I love as well but majority of it is when I look at it it's literally like I said Katia, Tiffany, Edil, Ole Lingard, okay Anita Ko as well I really love, Reposi I have a few pieces okay let's just get into it let's not try to kind of figure it all out so starting with my left ear since it seems to be the one that is just here up front over here we have starting with the date piercing that is Maria Tash of course I forgot something my Maria Tash date piercing it's very specific it's not a hoop because on that hoop in particular the jewelry is like on the side not in the front like in most of the other hoops because the jewelry sits so that it shows you the side and not the front then at the back here I have a very special cuff this cuff is from Adil I think I've had it around six months now and it's beautiful I don't know if you guys are familiar with Adil I love the brand I never know if it's called ideal or ideal, but it doesn't really matter because it's literally ideal for your cool girl jewelry wardrobe. And let me tell you, I'm sure you've seen me wear it all the time because I've 
discovered the brand more than a year ago for sure like probably two years ago now and it's a brand that I wear every single day like so if you ever see my kind of like Julie tours on TikToks Idil is always in my ears and there's one thing that I have to say their diamonds sparkle so well it's a brand that uses lab grown diamonds that just sparkle like you cannot imagine they're very dainty fashion cute pieces I personally love the designs I feel like when I started wearing the brand there were like few pieces that you could pick and choose from and the ideology of the brand is when it comes to earrings they do the studs let me see I'm sure I have a stud somewhere okay on this in this ear here I have a stud here at the back this is like a classic stud but then so is this or this is just that they also have add-ons and I have so many actually add-ons I'll show you what an add-on looks like hopefully you'll be able to see it okay over here you can see this is an add-on and you can see it has like quite a few different holes for the piercing depending how low on your lobe is your piercing so that you can like I prefer the style when it hugs the earlobe the add-on and between the add-on and the stud there is not that much space so obviously I put it through the like last one but you can kind of style it however you want which is very like it's kind of like modular styling so you can mix and match the pieces I will link all of my pieces below because I think they're very special so I have this uh, cuff which obviously you don't need a piercing for that is from Idil and I think it's really cute I have another similar one that actually has a chain but I wear a chain always on my right ear so on this occasion I'm not wearing a chain but I'll show you some more chains later so I have then to proceed at the very back I haven't got a anything actually in here usually i would wear a simple stud here but you know it's a day like that then we have another idyll piece that is absolutely gorgeous obviously you can wear it without a dangly bit at the bottom which you can remove or you can wear it with which i am on this occasion then we have a maria tash turquoise huggy i love it because it's quite like tight and small so it's like really hugging the earlobe like i already explained i like when it's not too dangly and then in the front here this is my favorite favorite Idil add-on. It is a pear-shaped diamond. It's so gorgeous, you guys. Honestly, it just gives so much light. It sparkles so much. It's beautiful. Honestly, it's such a like big size as well and such a great price for such an incredible piece. So if you end up getting one of these earrings, get that one because I think it's really beautiful. Just a preference, you know? Then on my right ear, we have quite a few things going on. So in the front helix, I have a Maria Tash single diamond stud. I don't really tend to remove this one ever it's not the easiest thing to remove yeah I have to go there to like get it done out because it needs to get like unscrewed and then inside something that like not many people tend to see there is this huggy it's from fry powers on one side it's like yellow enamel and on the other side it's like as you can see it's like all fully pave and it's like really really cute I have it in many different colors from fry powers I also have like many colorful I'm sure you guys have seen these kind of rings that I have worn many times before now I have the huggies as well in the same variation so it's really cute for summer to change it up at the back I have two Maria Tash I guess hoops like they are a little bit bigger than the turquoise huggy but they are still quite small and cute and then I have an Apollo chain I'm sure you guys have seen me wear this Apollo chain more than 100 times because I wear it every single day pretty much this was like the first piece that I fell in love when it comes to Idil and I just really really love the craftsmanship of it because it's a very delicate piece but very durable and somehow it's like a perfect length I know the chains can be a little bit annoying because you might fear that you will catch it in things I never once caught this chain in like anything like it's really really because it's so dainty and so pretty it just sits there and it's perfectly placed you can obviously kind of place it however you want but I particularly love the Apollo chain I think I can insert pictures of a million times that I wore it because honestly it's that piece it's probably my most worn piece of jewelry I really love it it's actually attached to another huggy that I got from my sister for my birthday this is from Reposi and honestly it's probably one of my favorite huggies that I own because it is that kind of classic golden diamonds hoop but it's very tight and snug behind it I have another idyll just a stud I really love this stud it's beautiful and in the front I have 
Ooh, this is one of the newest pieces for me from Idil. And Idil's been my partner for many years now, like I mentioned before, just like some other brands from here. But this video is, you know, my favorite jewelry pieces. And I've just received this piece. I actually wanted to now interrupt this and show you what else I received because we were talking about chains. I ripped it apart. So um, yeah, you're gonna have to wait and see. So I got two other chains. I'm gonna show them to you in the box because I feel like that way you're gonna see them best. So over here, you can see these two chains. Now they go from obviously a piercing to piercing so you can i could place them from like the last kind of lobe piercing to the front one or especially here from this to this so it's like a nice little chain that can connect two different earrings but like i said i really since i have the opportunity to connect my top helix to the lobe piercing i really love this look i think like every now and then when i tie my hair or even when i don't and when i see the chain here it just gives something special and i really love the look you let me know what you think about it i'm very curious but I got two other gifts from Edil that I really love and I haven't tried before. One of them is a necklace. We'll get to necklaces in a second. But I know that some of you guys will really love this necklace. So I cannot wait to show it to you. And the other is a pair of earrings. Now, I'll take the pair of earrings out because I think you'll be able to see them best in my hand. And also you will understand a bit better the whole principle of how Edil works. So we have, like I mentioned, a stud. You can see the stud, right? And then there's the add-on. And on this occasion, the add-on is this circular sort of like diamond wreath I don't know if you can tell but I think it's really beautiful to sit in front around the face to add some light this is really gorgeous wow so sparkly you guys and something that I know you guys will love because it is quite like a piece it is this gorgeous necklace with a diamond a single diamond pendant that First of all, their chains are so dainty. Every time I wear like just a single chain, you guys always ask me and it's always from a deal without nothing. It's just like a dainty, dainty, dainty chain. I think that's really beautiful and you can get it on their website. But this one is with like quite nicely sized diamond. I will link all the description details below so you guys can check it out. It's really beautiful. So that's the novelty that I got. But let's proceed with the pieces that I'm not actually wearing right now when it comes to kind of my favorites and most worn. So I have this beautiful hardware Tiffany necklace it's like a silver chain and it starts from like the biggest kind of link to the smaller one I've shown it to you many times because actually the point about this is that you can wear it front or back What does that make sense let me show it to you now I wear this usually when I just want to have one single silver piece around the neck so you can wear this necklace like this or you can wear it backwards and then you have just very like kind of lightweight hardware a necklace on now i really like this one this is a silver necklace so the price is pretty great now i will never be able to take it off and i need to take it off because there's so much more that i need to show you hold on a little uh, break in the program thank god i randomly had a mirror here <laughs> anyway it's off it's a really really beautiful piece like i said and they have so many variations i yeah i have another piece on my tiffany wish list that i want to get or actually two pieces but anyway one at a time one at a time and i can't wait to show them to you now i also have these beautiful matching hardware earrings i really love them i got these in december last year kind of at the beginning of vlogmas ish and i really love them like the amount of my friends who got these earrings after i wore them they were like oh my god i want them too and they're very good price as well so that's great i'm gonna talk fast through next few pieces because there's not really much that they need explaining about they're really pieces that you all know so you know what i mean cartier love bracelet wool pave now this bracelet was on my wish list for a very 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 long time i really wanted it i just thought it was a little bit i don't know like out of reach or i wasn't sure about it or i wasn't sure if it was too flashy now i wear it every single day without a fail i love it very much it still makes me very happy when i wear it and honestly it's a really really great piece i'm very happy i got it i got it to me as a after we had that huge apartment robbery and it took all of my jewelry it was like a piece that i was like i'm gonna build back with now two years later i also, I'm lucky enough that I got the Justin Clou full pavé, but this one is in white gold. And I particularly love to wear it on the other wrist with my uh, watch when I wear especially, well, 
you shouldn't really wear jewelry with your watch like you shouldn't really wear a bracelet next to your watch that's like an advice that i would give to you but i never listen to my own advice i don't know guys any of you the same like you'd like to give advice to your friends and you're like you know eat healthy do good stuff blah 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 but then when you need to take on your own advice it's a little bit harder anyway i tend to wear this bracelet with my uh steel Audemars Piguet watch because they go so well together but actually with the ceramic one would be much better because this is unscratchable so uh, this watch is since we're already talking about jewelry and watches is Audemars Piguet collaboration with Carolina Bucci because it has a very special dial I think I've shown you this dial before I'll try and insert the picture where you can see it because the light here is very strong 34 millimeter which is automatic watch with a mechanism inside it's a really really beautiful sapphire dial watch wow the Justin Clue full pavé bracelet guys I've been wanting it for very long time I love this bracelet in fact so much that I'm even contemplating getting it also in yellow or rose gold so that you know I can stack it all up but one thing at a time I tend to when I buy these like really huge jewelry pieces that are very expensive I tend to do that related to some very special events life events or career milestones so yeah that's that talking about Katia bracelets the last one that I just have to add to this list is my Katia clash bracelet I love this bracelet the truth is that after I got it a while after the clasp that now is so fixed the clasp was opening and I took it to Cartier they fixed it in like no time they were very fast about it there was no like they, they had a great customer service I have to be very honest with you and they fixed it and now we're here I love I love it so much. I also, on the same occasion that I bought this bracelet, I bought a white gold clash ring that I wore on my index finger. This is years ago now. And Filippo loved it so much. And since my index finger of all of my fingers is my fattest finger, it's my biggest finger, Filippo was like, oh my God, I want to wear it. Can I wear it as well? And I was like, you know what, you wear it as well because I have so much jewelry that we tend to change and exchange things between ourselves. So anyway, he literally dropped it in Doha where normally like, you know, if you lose something, you always find it or someone gives it back to you and we never could find it again. We were there together, we couldn't find it. So it was such a pity, but it wasn't like an extremely expensive piece. It's just like a very cute piece that I do miss and I would probably want to replace at some point in my collection but I really love it so it's really beautiful the clash is gorgeous 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 collection so gorgeous that the one of my favorite earrings that I have are these Cartier clash earrings they're also like gold they're beautiful look at the detailing of these earrings look at the work the manufacturer sometimes I even put it on as a ring because you can look at this really cute huh and it's just a hoop actually and you can even stack two and then you have a double clash ring so this one product doubles as two cute anyway so yeah that's when it comes to bangles and next up I wanted to show you two show me bangles that I have these are from be my love collection and they're definitely one of my favorites because I do tend to wear them a lot I love them because they're dainty and they're so beautiful let's stack them up I would love to get one more to be honest with you they open like this I don't know if you can see so close them up and here we go there is a reason why they're called be my love because I don't know if you can see but they they look like honeycomb they have the honeycomb detailing now i would love to get one of them that is like half pavé so every other little honeycomb bit is a diamond because i think that's really beautiful i think these bracelets even like all together just look wow love this stack and you know i love the be my love i love shumei bracelets because they're light and thin and dainty so very often they just have that like very they're not like so commercial like you don't see them like all the time everywhere they're really beautiful really really special pieces so for me i'm a huge fan my wrist game i want to end like finish my wrist game so that we're done there i wanted to show you two tennis bracelets that i have because i really love them i think like I've been wanting a tennis bracelet for like maybe six, seven months now. And then Filippo got me one for my birthday. This is, I, like some of you have asked me, this is like eight cards in diamonds. And the diamond size is for me perfect because it's that kind of style that I wouldn't want it to be bigger. I wouldn't want it to be smaller. I don't know if you can see it. But one thing that I have to tell you is that I wanted this bracelet to really hug my wrist. So we ended up going to like reduce the size twice, I think. 
yeah and then i was very happy with it then it was perfect because also it shouldn't be too tight but i just didn't want it dangly but then my friend gloria who's our reference for so many different things as you guys know like she was the one who said for the engagement ring like can never be too big <laughs> there's no such thing when philippa asked her for advice she has a tennis braces and hers is very like dangly and i'm like wow you know what you're my reference for everything so if it's okay for you it's okay with me because i thought i wanted it even tighter than this but then when we kind of like made it this tight or this big i was in love with it and then very unexpectedly for my birthday i also got a, like a really cute dainty one from my friend and this was very unexpected but she was in talks with filippo about it here we go so i do tend to wear them together but you can also wear it like with the watch and jewelry because it's very thin and very dainty this will not scratch any kind of watches which is the beauty of it love love the wrist game is very important to me i have to be honest i just think that it makes me happy good good wrist game and my wrist game is never really complete without one von cleef bracelet the one that i wear the most and is probably my favorite of all the ones that i have if i had to save one just one from all the bracelets that i have it would be this one and it is dark mud of pearl with diamonds and rose gold now you might be thinking oh my god you've got so many things going on but look at this is this not a perfect wrist game i think it's perfect wrist game i first of all love dark mother of pearl i love dark mother of pearl on everything and anything so it's just very special it's very beautiful i'm gonna try and show it to you a bit better here we go i hope you can see this the detailing is incredible now one thing to know is that mother of pearl you should not be showering swimming blah 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 right trust your girl don't trust my advice <laughs> but i shower with this pretty much every single day it's been more than a year old it's intact it's perfect it's so much better i did the same with my malachite bracelet that one didn't last as well that one i had to already replace my malachite stones but with this it's like really really good and i love this bracelet so much i'll link it below if i can find it sometimes these pieces can be hard to find because like either they sell out like you can't even find them in boutiques they sell out or i can't find them online so if i can't find the exact same product i will link the most the closest most similar product to the one that i can find because c'est la vie you know how it is guys it's not very easy right so yeah i'm going in the order of things that i have in front of me so i'll go back to von Cleef very soon but i have two other ideal add-ons here in front of me that i thought are very important to mention and they are the round and kind of like solitaire cut i don't know if you can see beautiful pieces i don't know which one i prefer i love this emerald cut add-on very much i think besides the pear-shaped one it's my absolute absolute favorite and talking about earrings i was like okay let's not go crazy i'm gonna show you only a few and really my one of my favorite earrings that i have are the malachite uh, van cleef earrings and they're just like very simple alhambra earrings and i really like these because the malachite will always shine it's not gonna be like the bracelet that gets a little bit kind of matte because of obviously conduct with water etc because it's earrings we're talking about and i'm not gonna be immersing my head into water every time i wash my hands so it's a little bit different okay i have this snake malachite ring this is from Ole Lingat. so i really really love malachite it's a huge malachite with a snake around it when i saw this one i was absolutely in love with it now it's morning so my hands are a little bit swollen in the morning i don't know if i told you about that but yeah weird stuff huh so i normally wear it on my index finger but right now i'll put on this one just because i don't want to be like stuck in a ring right now at I don't know where my phone is but early in the morning on my watch i need to wind because yeah but it's a really beautiful beautiful piece if i can find it i will link it below you guys know how much i love my Ole Linga pieces but if there's one favorite that i have that i can't wait to wear more in the summer now is my elephant pendant now this is the piece that i wore over and over and over again and i really it's probably the only piece that I actually did replace after the robbery because it was one piece that I really missed so much. But I think it's so precious and so beautiful and it just sits so nicely. I'll definitely be able to find this one. So check it in the description below. I'll put it as an elephant pendant necklace. It's so gorgeous and I love elephants so much. I love their mature heart. If you guys haven't watched on Netflix, Planet Zoo, I think you should watch it. David Attenborough is um, obviously the voice behind it. It. 
the planned too, I cried. Filippo was like, come on, like you cannot cry. Actually, I cried on a scene with whales, not on a scene with elephants. Normally I cry a lot to do with elephants. I don't know, like it's... Animals just like hit me like differently. Certain animals, you know? There are certain animals, I, and, and like, you know, keep in mind, this is nothing to do with this. I, I eat meat, you know, it's not like I'm this kind of, I don't know, like I have like certain strong views, but with animals, I just really love elephants. I really like for whales when I, uh, it's just, yeah. Anyway, it's a topic, another topic. So I really love my elephant pendant. And from Oli Linga, there's another ring that I have and I love, and I've seen it a million times, is the boho ring, this one over here. I think it's a peridot and a tourmillon, tourmillon, how do you say it? And what I really love is that, I don't know if you'll be able to see, in this stone here, there's some angel hair, which is sort of like, I don't want to call it like inclusions, but it's like naturally occurring detailing in the stone that looks like it's hair inside and it's called angel hair. And that I love about this ring. Plus it goes with literally with so many different things. It's so precious. And it was personally gifted to me by Charlotte Lingat, who I appreciate and respect so much. She's so talented. And this jewelry brand never used to do colored stones before she became creative director. So I really love that she brought her own personal touch to the brand and that's something that that I think is very beautiful. Rings that you guys know that I love. So, surprise, it's this ring over here. Mm, I love it so much, obviously. It's like literally, I think this is very, 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 very special ring. This ring just makes me want to get my nails done all the time. That's the problem about it because your nails have to be pretty perfect with this ring. You know what I mean? The other ring that Filippo got me, or the first ring that Filippo ever got me, is this Riposi ring. Now, it's a really special ring, as you can see, because it has like kind of invisible layer between them, but actually it's connected like this at the back. We love this ring so much. I actually had to get it reinforced because I wore it every single day. Um, So I had it like reinforced with like a thicker gold band at the back because when I'm like, uh, the light is going to be changing a little bit. Hope you guys don't mind. Wait, let me try and close the curtains. Okay, so this ring, very, very special. Love it. Beautiful. It's the first ring that Filippo ever got me. And at that point, we were living together for like eight months or so. Yeah, so it was quite surprising. The second ring that Filippo got me before the ring is the promise ring. Now, he got me this ring like when we were together a year and a half and he told me that this is the ring that is kind of like his promise to me that we will be together forever. I really love this ring so much. When I put this ring on, everybody told me we got engaged and I, I told my closer friends, I told, trust me, when we get engaged, you will know because it will not be like, did you get engaged or not? You know what I mean? And it's quite funny, it's, it was a running gag. But anyway, it was like a promise ring and it's very dear to me. And when I opened it, I gasped. He filmed me when I opened it because he wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but it's exactly what I wanted, you guys. This is so beautiful. I have two Cartier rings that I wanted to show you as well. This one is one that I got for my sister for my 30th birthday. I'm sure you've seen me wear it all the time because I there was a time that I never ever ever took it off. I think, actually this looks so pretty now. I think this is a very beautiful ring because it represents her and me, always intertwined, but very different in every shape and form. Our personalities are different. Our skills in life are different. I mean, I think we're just different. People say we look alike, but I think in every aspect, people say also we sound the same, but in every aspect, we are very, very different. And I love that about us because we can really complement each other in so many different ways and shapes and forms. And if you guys know me and if you have have followed me for a long time you know that my sister is my rock she is the world to me one day if i have kids i aspire to like raise them to love each other and respect each other as much as my sister and i do i could start crying right now because i miss my sister okay it's ah oh, i love her so much and i try to be like always this kind of like a very sturdy younger sister because i need to like she's the one that is more like sometimes panicky and stressy and i always need to be the strong one you know because yes, I'm the little sister, but I need to be the strong sister. And you know, like sometimes they say, always check up on your strongest friends because very often like your kind of like strongest friends are the ones that like keep everything inside. And I think that's how my sister and I are. She always like makes things like very big and I make things very like smaller than they 
are because I, I don't want other people to panic but she is like so good at problem solving she's the best person to go to when you need her she's a mother so she's also like always been a mother also to me which is kind of crazy because you know when you have a six years older sister it's very natural that she will be nurturing and taking care of you I suppose at least that was my case she was like bringing me to school back to school she was like dealing with my school bullies she always just you know and she is the best sister that this planet has known of so I got this ring from her for my 30th birthday and then I got myself this pinky Cartier love ring which is full perfect I wanted to wear it I love this ring I love the look of the ring right it's beautiful but I didn't want to wear it on like any other finger i wanted to wear it on a pinky because i thought that's quite something that hasn't been done you don't see it a lot so i thought it was a bit more special i think that's it with the rings that i wanted to show you let's proceed let's proceed with the earrings okay now i have two more Ole Lingard earrings that i want to show you they're from the shooting star collection this one was my dream for the longest time it's actually a stud with an add-on that you can see at the bottom as well but i always wear it together however you can also wear it separately like you can only wear the stud if you wish or you can also only buy the stud if you wish the one that gets a lot of love whenever I post to wear it is this three shooting stars now this is earring that I got and that I kept because I had it in my ear the night we got robbed but it had a beautiful add-on I'll insert the picture if I can find it that got stolen but it was like a really beautiful add-on that I would consider repurchasing because it's so gorgeous when you want to have just one piece that like steals the show but in general I think that these earrings are so beautiful. So another earring that gets a lot of attention every time I wear is the Anita Ko pin earring. I love Anita Ko jewelry. I have another earring that I've been recently wearing a lot that I think is also very special but probably this one has to be named as one of my favorite pieces. I have it also in white gold and this is in rose gold. I do tend to wear them together. It's just such a good jewelry piece. Yeah it's really great. Really really great. There's another cuff that I really like. This is a Chanel Coco Crush collection and I haven't got many Chanel pieces that are made of gold, but this one is. And it is, where should I put it? Let's put it here just to show it to you. I was also worried that this one, oh, this is not a really big, great place to put it, but just for the demonstration. I don't know if you can see, it's here. I was worried that this would fall out same for this but they're so well made that it sits there like i you can go through a hair shampoo with a hairdresser or a roller coaster and it really they really stay in like honestly tried and tested love it Whew. we're slowly coming to an end but not quite necklaces and well i have one other bracelet that i wanted to show you and i think we're done with bracelets so let's do that we have the van cleef malachite bracelet now i was between this one and the guilloche uh, white gold one i love them both truth be told and i love to wear them together but i just think calcedony is such a specific stone it's almost like see-through i don't know if you will be able to see but it's like beautiful purpley stone on white gold and i have a 10 motif bracelet as well it's just like something about its cool tones that really caught my eye and when i saw it i was like oh it would go even cute with this chanel top i really 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 love it and i think it's such a beautiful piece talking about van cleef let's continue with necklaces i had to include two 10 motif necklaces the most worn of all would be my i got it's this blue stone here and I think the blue really really suits me I love it I've worn it a lot it's a really beautiful blue shade however after Philippe and I got engaged in my local Van Cleef boutique they actually received this malachite 10 motif necklace and I was like this will be such a beautiful piece to wear I think I wore it only once so far but I'm gonna really like I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna wear it this summer like crazy because I love green now you guys what do you think what color suits me better do you think you prefer the blue stone on me or the green stone on me because it was i i think they're both beautiful on me <laughs> but uh so many different emotions in this video but you guys are telling me that you prefer green on me and i'm like wow i'm shocked but you guys are never really wrong so you know what i mean i trust you this one cartier necklace that i love very very much and it's the one that i got from filippo it's the i don't know what this necklace is called you know that's the thing when i'm not buying something myself i don't have all the specs but it's a beautiful 
beautiful necklace that gets so much attention every time I wear it. It's a very dainty chain with a single diamond and it was a huge surprise for me. He also told me that when he was buying this for me, he ran into some followers in Cartier store and they recognized him and he was kind of stressed that someone's gonna DM me that they saw Filippo in Cartier store. He was like, I hope they don't tell you because then my surprise would be ruined and I thought that was the cutest thing he said ever. Since I like necklaces like that, very dainty with little diamond pendants, I love this Idil necklace too. You guys always ask me about this necklace. Every time I wear it, it gets a lot of questions and it has, as you can see, what is it? Five or six, six beautiful diamonds at the bottom. It sits very nicely and it looks beautiful for summer, but then there's another one that you guys love. So I had to show it to you. Also like the chains on these necklaces are so perfect. Okay, so we're on. So here we got this diamond pendant. It's like a larger diamond pendant with a diamond halo at the back. And I think it's really beautiful on skin as well. It's emerald cut with halo around. Beautiful. Actually, this could even be someone's engagement ring, to be honest. We were talking about necklaces. I have a few more necklaces to show you. Let's talk about one of my absolute favorite brands when it comes to fashion jewelry and like fun jewelry and it's Misma. Like, first of all, these hoops. These hoops also make me very emotional because they are something that I wore from the beginning of my career and they the Lucy Williams hoops. I had several Misuma hoops because nobody does hoops as good as Misuma does. I said it. Honestly, I'm obsessed. And these are a mix of two colored metals, as you can see. They're the ultimate cool girl hoop. I will link them below because they are great for a present. They're great for you, for every day. They last me very long. And it's a very, very honest and warm recommendation to all of you. Now, if you love a bigger hoop, like I do sometimes as well, I love these colorful hoops for summer. Guys, but for winter too. Guys, look at these. They have stones in blue, green, pink, purple, turquoise. This is just spectacular. And these hoops make outfits so good. I don't know if you can see, but I think they're very, very beautiful, very special. Love them. I wore them a lot. They're really like, really worn a lot, but you can't really see it on them. I just know it. And for me, this is one piece that I really love. There's a necklace or a style of necklace that I love and I have it in two different types of pearls. So it's from the Harry Street collection and this pearly necklace that has two hands holding a circle. <laughs> I should design, this is like a symbol of something, like unity or something, solidarity, I don't know. It's very important because I love this necklace and it has pearls and it's so beautiful. But I also got a newer version, which I am oh, in awe with because these pearls are a bit thicker. Let me show you for comparison. Look at this. So you have the tinier one and then the bigger one. And I'll link these below because the price is really good for what it is. And I think they're just so stunning. And I decided for summer to include one more beaded necklace it's like turquoise and pearl but honestly like for summer they have anklets they have gorgeous necklaces they have one other necklace that is favorite of mine which is also from the latest lucy williams collection this is the chain so it's thin and dainty i don't know why i removed the pendant from the necklace and this is the pendant it's like a horn that has like a malachite green kind of thing that you well, let me show it to you. <laughs> Not the best describer this morning. Isn't this gorgeous? I think this is gorgeous. This is especially gorgeous for stacking. Now, I will insert some pictures as well of the details. When I wore this necklace from the first ever Lucy Williams collection, this is the second one or the latter one and the third one, <laughs> the last one. And it's really beautiful. I really, really, really love it. I have two more fashion jewelry pieces that I wanted to show you. One is a Chanel choker that I wish I wore more but I really love it because it's just a classic kind of silver colored choker with CC logo that is fully crystallized and I like the way it looks for summer and it's cute and it's easy and you can just wear it. I wonder if I could wear it also as double bracelet. Mm, no, it's, well, yeah, actually yes, but it would have like one hanging pot as well. So yeah, very cute. And the last, but not the least, for my favorites, I had to include these Bottega Veneta earrings. They're the huge ones. I got a silver color because lately I'm very much into silver, as you guys know. These are not just silver color, these are actually silver, hence the price. I really, really like them. In fact, I would consider getting the smaller ones as well. I will link these below because these are such an accessory that I think give a lot of statement. So when you wear these, you can really be like sure that 
you know, it's a statement piece, that your outfit is outfitting, that you are, you know, you got things kind of under control. And that's that. What I really like about them is that they're quite hollow, so they're like very light on the ear. That's one thing that I wanted to say because that was a worry of mine before I got them. So that is that, you guys. I thought this video was going to be 20 minutes long because I was like, I'm just going to show them my favorite and most worn jewelry pieces and that's it. And then, yeah. Here we are. It turned out to be a bit longer than I initially thought, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It's what you guys asked for and I delivered. Let me know what was your favorite piece. Let me know if you plan on buying any of these jewelry pieces. If you have any sizing issues, concerns, questions, anything you want to know, let me know and I'll be here to answer. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.